in Figure 9.2, um, we have the the uh, a pretty common pH uh, scale with some of our soil uh, soils and uh, different kinds of our soils on that pH scale as well. At the top, you'll see uh, the extremes here: battery acid, of course, very acidic. Bleach uh, is our is our example of what is very basic. A natural rain. Uh, note that it is acidic. Okay, that means that if we have an area, this is why with uh, things like oxisols that have a large amount of natural rainfall happening on them. That's why they tend to become acidic over time. Ultisols uh, are this way as well. So when you move a lot of that rainwater through those soils, that's a natural acidification process that happens for those soils because, uh, because rainfall is, is, is on the acidic end of uh, the spectrum is, is more acid than, uh, than pure water. Okay, here's our pure water uh, right there. So that gives you an idea in terms of thing, uh, in terms of different things that are uh, that have different pHs. When we think about <coughs> soils, you see all of a sudden we have some some terms here. Sodic uh, soils. We'll discover what that uh, that means later on in this uh, in this chapter. Calcareous soils. Lots of calcium, which we know is a non-acid uh, cation. Uh, here's again our line right here at pH 7. If we're to the left of pH 7, we have an acid soil. If we're to the right, we have an alkaline or basic soil. Either one of those words is acceptable uh, to that. But if you're familiar with a word like, um, uh, you know, some people would, uh, would associate a salty uh, type soil with, uh, with being an alkaline soil. Or they might use the word alkali. Um, uh, as, a, as a kind of a common word for, uh, to most people, when they say alkali, they're actually talking about some kind of salt accumulation on the surface. Um, and, uh, and so in, in this course, what we would like to do would be to reserve those words like alkaline uh, and basic for only talking about pH. We'll talk about salty soils, we'll talk about sodic soils, and we see there's sodic soils. Oops, let me get back to this. We see there's sodic soils right here, and they, uh, they tend to be on the basic side of things, but there's some different terminology that's going on, uh, that's going on there. So this is the general range of, of pH that are found in soils. Typically soils, and, and again, we're generalizing here, anywhere from about 3 to about 9. That's where most of our soils are going to be, especially agriculturally important soils. Uh, we do have soils that are outside this that are outside this uh, range, but they tend there tend to be special circumstances where we would have soils in those ranges.